Hey, how's it, Lincoln Nation? How you doing? This is the Cowboy Buzz here. Um, this really quick, you know, I, in you know, I watched the the I didn't watch it live, but I I watched the uh, Kobe Bryant Hall of Fame. Uh, great to see Natalia um, wearing Kobe's jacket and all that. Um, again, would have been great to see Kobe. You know, it sucks that it sucks what happened to him and Gigi and all that, and all the other people that lost their lives that you know in that tragedy. Um, and you know like you know 2020 this sucked all the way around um but anyway <clears throat> anyway uh <clears throat> anyway um you know like listening to the speech and one thing i gotta say is like um i was glad that she got it you know she got it out there you know because i didn't want to I didn't want that to take away from what she was actually talking about, which was Kobe and all that. You know, she mentioned, you know, she mentioned uh, Kobe's parents and and um, sister and stuff like that. And, you know, other, you know, because the last, you know, you know, the Kobe's memorial is was, you know, people kept on talking about it. And, you know, I mean, for for guys like me in, in Hawaii and you know especially in Hawaii I mean I'm pretty sure there's not is this not this Hawaii but you know in other places you know but for us we have this thing called don't be niele and you know we you know you kind of you know if you agree with me you, you kind of go to this when you're sitting there you kind of go wow they don't even mention them man you know you, you kind of go like that but then at the same time too you don't want to be niele you don't want to be nosy like, yeah, we don't know what's going on. You know, maybe something going on that she doesn't want to bring it up or he doesn't want to bring it up. So, you know, you let it go. It's like, let them deal with that on their own terms and all that. And you kind of leave it go. But I was glad it got out of the way because I didn't want to hear, you know, the other stuff and all that. <clears throat> um, you know, hearing about Kobe, about like how he wanted to make sure that, you know, he was, he, he probably knew that he had a responsibility to do... To, to make sure he wants to play for every game. I mean, maybe maybe he, he wants to live up to to the whole thing of like, man, I just want to play. And no matter how hurt he was and all that, he wants to play. And, you know, like how like how they were saying, you know, like some people wait, you know, save two, three years. Um, some people we can save even more, you know, to fly to L.A. to, to, to see a Laker game with Kobe in there at... You know, at Staples Center, you know, at, or in, you know, so, so yeah, so, so like that, you know, and that, that's like what makes me regret. That's the one regret I still have, and all that, you know, so, sometimes was it like, you know, just, you know, things that I needed to do. Well, sometimes was just, I, I was stupid. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't good with, you know, I wasn't the best, the smartest thing with my money. Not like I was too reckless to the point like I was broke or anything like that it was just more like damn it now you know the things that I really need to take care of like like you know like 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 pleasures and like 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 um things that you want to do and all that you know I should have weighed out the importance like oh man do I want to do this or do I want to see a Lakers game and I should have prioritized that more and all that and then I put myself in such bad situations like I couldn't even put money to even go okay if I if I do this if I, I can't go to a game it wasn't even a lot of that so so yeah um but the highlight thing was is that you know having Michael Jordan uh, present Kobe Bryant <laughs> um, you could hear it through you could feel it through um Vanessa but you know I don't know if it was planned I don't know if it was calculated or whatever but because you know you, you always hear the term that Kobe stole that from Michael and you know and <laughs> true and true you know if you remember Kobe I mean sorry you remember Michael Jordan's uh, speech uh, he went after the people that doubted him he went after the people that you know try to you know try to hold him back and all that kind of stuff you know he went after him so he, he had that little bit of thing from from Vanessa and all that true go you know from from Kobe to Vanessa and all that um before I go I just want to mention that uh it was great to see Tim Duncan inducted as well too um because that's a rivalry that while while Kobe you know is a great person on his own 
it made it even fun. Made it even funner to know that Kobe and, and Duncan battled it out. You know, 10 years of this going after each other. How many Western Conference Finals, you know, they, they went they went head to head. And, you know, like, you know, so. And then, you know, there's no, and, you know, for me personally, I do, I, I don't have not one, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's a little anger when the game is on, but once it's over, man, that, I mean, if there's a team that I have no, no nothing where I just go, I hate that team, you know, there is nothing, I mean, you know, like, maybe I'll say like, ah, that guy, ah, that guy's a jerk, you know, maybe I'll do that or whatever, but. Other than that, I I never never looked at the Spurs as the as like that that hated rival, you know. It was like it was totally like okay, you know. When you look at when you go okay, that's the team that I want to make sure we beat, and I, I want to see the Lakers beat them, and all that, because then because when it made it more special during the championship, it's like we went through them. So don't you guys dare say that we had it easy and all that because. And vice versa, you know, because both teams was like, they, you you had literally had to go through each other to get to get where you wanted to go, and all that, and win those championships. I mean, ten championships between the two, you know. So so yeah. All right, that's my video. Hey, Laker Nation, mahalo for watching. Aloha.